and welcome to Star Wars Obsessed. I recently had a request by Greg Armstrong to look at my vintage radio controlled R2-D2. Well, here it is. I have the remote without the antenna, unfortunately. R2-D2, it looks pretty good. I don't know, maybe I could clean up the chrome and make it shinier? Is that even possible? Um, sticker on the bottom is still intact. The box, you see here it says, wireless control R2-D2 moves forward and backward, turns left and right. Chromed head turns, red eye lights up, electronic beep sounds. This one has the LP on it, the long playing toy. Came out in 1978. Um, I do have a previous video after I had just purchased it, but this video is going to be different. Why? First, I need to put in the batteries to show how it works. A 9 volt battery goes in the controller. Okay, snaps on just like that. Just slides inside like this. And here's the cover. And the R2D2. Take the back off and two C size batteries and has a picture that tells you which tells you the orientation of the battery and then nine volt battery. Okay and it just slides into the slot right here. Let's close the back. Come on. Close. R2 does not want, the back does not want to close for some reason. All right, let's turn it on. Nothing's happening. Here's the body. The body, you press up, the head, press down. So let's press up. He's not moving. How about the head? Press down. Not moving. So that's the problem is when I purchased this, that was the only thing that's happening. I did ask around online in some of the Star Wars collection groups. There wasn't an antenna. Would it prevent it from rolling, the head turning? The consensus seemed to be no, it would not. Because if I put it up close, it would still be able to function. So I'm thinking the problem may be that the motors are frozen. And that tends to happen on these original Kenner electronic toys is they have a little motor that spins, but uh, over the years they tend to freeze. So I'm going to take apart R2-D2 and determine if it's the engine that's frozen. Hopefully that's what it is because that's pretty easy to, to fix. And this screwdriver, I will remove the screw here this always makes me nervous because I'm afraid that I will screw things up make it worse than it was in the first place but I suppose if it's not moving and then I fudge around with it and don't fix it in any way then what's the harm right so take that risk and I can put this back in here. I suppose I should look at removing this sticker if I want to keep it like it is. And of course, the best way to do it is letter food. Let's see. Put some letter food on it, just like that. There, a lot of lighter fluid. Let's see if I can pull it. Ooh, that's very strong. Okay, it's coming off. Put a little bit more fluid on right here. Okay. Then I just use some kind of sticky, some kind of glue to put the uh, put the sticker back on like it's coming off nice and easy or maybe I'll just leave it like that don't take the whole thing off because it's at the seam now 
to take the screws off the legs. Now I can remove the, the leg. Oh, R2 is, doesn't seem that easy to put, take the leg off. Here we go. There we go. Okay, carefully, carefully remove. I don't want to break anything. Oh, look at that. Got some hairs around it. How does a cog look? It looks fine. I don't. Oh, does it look broken in any way? I don't think so. Just need some cleaning. Gross. Can I pull this cog out? Would it be easy? I don't want to break it. It seems to be turning just fine. I need a brush. Brush this out. This little cog here looks just fine. I don't see any breaks in it, and it's turning, although it does get stuck at some point. Like, I can't, like, it'll, it'll jam, like, right here. Oh, no, it passed. Got the brush. Although, what is on this? It's like, there's the hair I can't seem to get. All right. The, how, how easy is this to come off? No? No, I'm not going to try that. Just clean it as much as I can. Mount tweezers. Get this hair out. Yay! This looks clean. Now, let's take off this one. There. Not too bad. Oh, this side is just as messy. Oh my gosh, look at this. Complete mess. The hair is out. Oh wow, this one just came right off. I don't know, is that a problem? Because the other side didn't come off. Hey, this one is stuck. This one just comes right off. Not a good thing, I'm sure. But if it comes off, maybe I can get a lot of the hairs off of this. Look at that mess. Brush it off. Come on. There. Okay, that one is clean. Maybe that's why it won't roll. Hopefully this will help. Let me turn this, maybe. This one doesn't have any problem turning. I wonder if that's part of the problem with this you know, it's rolling, rolling around and just picking up all this dirt and hair and just dust particles. Okay, I have to take the back off. I guess I gotta use fingernails. Where, which, which comes off? Oh, maybe this part comes off. Okay. I think I'm pulling it from the wrong side. Maybe the front comes off. Whoops. There we go. All right. Now the front's off. There's the motor and it seems to be turning just fine. This one, it is turning just fine. And how about that in there? See, I don't know what's going on because of this right here. That looks kind of corroded. Maybe that's part of the problem. I see a screw here and a screw in here that it looks like to remove the head part. Like the only way I'm gonna be able to see that cog that's in there. I'm using the screwdriver to turn it and it's turning. I don't see anything broken in there. Let me put the battery in and see what I can get from this. Batteries, put the batteries in. Oh look! One leg is working, but the other one isn't. Oh, it's a bummer. Aww. Can't get the head to turn. So this side is spinning. Yay. But this one, where it started at first, now I can't get it to spin. Just won't, doesn't want to spin. Oh, 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 so see, sometimes it spins, sometimes it doesn't. I guess I just have to keep turning it. Oh look, it's turning! Oh my god, this is so exciting! So it looks like it was just frozen. Keep it turning a bit. Oh, it stopped again. 
What if I put some lubricant on it? Okay. A little bit. Let's move it. Hopefully that works. Come on. Ah, still nothing. Spitting out lubricant. <laughs> but it's still not turning. It, it tends to stick at a certain point. I can't figure out what it could be. I don't see any breakage. Make it a mess. Alright, R2D2 moves! So it looks like both sides. This side. Uh, let's see, if I put him down. Now he's just gonna turn. Well, the engine is turning. Ugh! Just doesn't want to turn without assistance. I don't know what to do about this. It has this like resistance. Now, I need to figure out how to get the dome to turn. What's going on with that? Okay, I'm gonna Try to unscrew this part, take the head out, and hopefully I can fix it. Wait, this one is tough. We got all these wires. The wires are very tight, as far as I can get it to go. And the motor turns, nothing wrong with the cog. Just can't seem to get the head motor to, to turn. Looks like R2's head is moving. It seems to get stuck, like it won't turn at some point. But I can feel whenever I turn this, R2's head moves. Oh! Oh my god! The motor turned! I'm so excited! It's almost like you have to train it to remember. Like, should I put lubricant on this? It almost worked! Did you see his head turn? I'm so excited! Come on, R2. I know you can do it. Come on, buddy. Okay, see, so it gets stuck right there. <gasps> Look at that! So exciting! I'm gonna put some lubricant on it. Alright, maybe this will help. Ugh, get started and then this won't continue. Oh, look at that! Like R2's head is turning. Let's try it this way. I come on. If I stop it, will it start again? Wow! That's awesome! I'll have to say the uh, the sound is can be kind of annoying, but this is amazing! So R2's head just turns in one direction. I wonder how long I should let this run before I put him back together. Now I'm going to put it back in. Bag. There we go. It's alive. Okay, it's screwed in. Will the head still turn? Wow. Make sure the body is still working. Oh yeah. Right, let's put this R2 back together. Okay, so the body goes on. All right, back together. See, hopefully the head still works. Put the legs back on. All right, before I put the screws in, let's make sure. Wonderful. Now I have to take the batteries out so I can put the screw back in for the body. All right. Batteries go back in. And I am done! All right, time to clean up and we'll see R2 in action.
R2 turns the head. He has to face the direction and then he'll go that way. He turns the head. And he'll go that way. Well, that was fun. I, I rather enjoyed opening up this R2-D2 and discovering what the insides look like and what I can do to get it working again. And that was great. It's a wonderful feeling to know that I was able to fix this. And thank you, Greg Armstrong, for making the request. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and see you on the next Star Wars Obsessed.